if you'd like to see how to make this fantastic coffee barbecue beef ribs, stay tuned. Clock, and today we're going to be doing some beef ribs on the Kamado Joe. So here is my lovely rack of beef ribs here from my local butcher, Hards of Houses. I've trimmed some fat off of them, okay. We need to make a rub. So in my little pot here, I'll just move the ribs to one side. There's my little pot, okay. First things first, I'm going to be using some of this Himalayan um, pink salt. And uh, I suppose we'll drop in a couple of uh, teaspoons of the pink Himalayan salt. Then we'll get some um, coarse black pepper. And we'll whack in a couple of teaspoons. So we've got a 50 50 mix of black pepper and Himalayan pink salt. Then we want to add a little bit of um, punchiness to it. Okay, so I'm just going to add half a teaspoon of onion powder. And then, if I can open it up, we go <coughs> just a little bit <coughs> it's making cough already look a quarter teaspoon of garlic granules just to add what I'm trying to do is basically just trying to add some levels of flavor to the ribs so I'll get them in my pot Give it a shake up like so. Get the ribs. There we go. Let's give them a dusting. Give them a good, good coating of this rub. sides So there we go. There are the ribs with the rub on. We just want to let this set for about 10 minutes, okay? And what you're now going to see is obviously we fire up the Kamado Joe. You'll see the ribs go on. They will be at around um, sort of 250 degrees for about four hours, okay? But what I will do in the meantime is I'll show you how to make a fantastic um, coffee based barbecue sauce to mop these with while they're cooking. So stay tuned.
So the ribs are on and I've got a bit of oak in there to smoke them over um, and then what we'll do is say we'll make up this uh, this coffee barbecue sauce and every now and again we'll come back and just mop these um, with the barbecue sauce so stay tuned so now it's time to make the coffee barbecue sauce right so to a saucepan you need to add about a, a, a cup of ketchup there we go so a cup of ketchup there then you want to add a cup of coffee okay there's a cup of coffee there then to that you want to add two um, tablespoons of brown sugar a teaspoon of black pepper and a teaspoon of salt in they go like so then I like to add about a quarter of a cup of dark soy sauce so that'll probably be all of this that I've got in this bottle that's left to be honest there we go And for a little bit of tang, I want about um, a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar, and everyone's favourite, a little bit of Worcester sauce or Worcestershire sauce, however you want to say it. I like to add about a tablespoon. Then all we're gonna do is put this on the hob, simmer away for a bit to let it sort of thicken up, okay? And once it's thickened up, we can then um, apply this to the ribs on the Kamado Joe. So stay tuned. Well, as you can see, we um, basically just mop this sauce over now. They've been on for about two and a half hours. So we're just mopping the sauce over like you can see, nice and easy, like that. So we'll be back. Next time we'll be back, they'll hopefully be done. So stay tuned. So the beef ribs are done. Let's take a look at these bad boys. So here we go. This is how they turn out. Look at that lovely glaze on them from the coffee barbecue sauce. Let's slice into these bad boys. Let's slice in. Just let you see what they're like internally. So there we go. Look, look at these. Look how juicy. And they're really, really hot, believe it or not. But look at how juicy these are. You know, the juice running out of them is absolutely fantastic. It's all over my fingers. Oh my word, the flavours are unbelievable. So let's have a little bit of a taste test. So let's see how good these really are. Right, so we sliced a morsel off. Look at this. Look how lovely, how good does that look? The smoke ring, so a little pink smoke ring there from the oak and the, the crust on there. Absolutely fantastic. Let's have a take a test. Oh my word. 
Are these the best beef ribs I've ever had? They could be. So juicy, so flavoursome, they're unreal. So look, do yourself a favour. You can do these in the oven, you don't need a smoker to do them. You can do these in the oven just the same. Cook these, right, give them a try, see what you think. Leave me a comment below. If you like this little recipe, give me a big thumbs up. Hit that little bell, get notified every time I bring out a new one. And of course, subscribe to the channel. And like I always say, beer is the answer, but I cannot remember the question. Thank you for watching. Good night. TT says, never play with matches, fireworks, and always drink responsibly.